As day fades, the Black Legion departs for Blackstone's south gate. Despite rumors of an impending attack by the Holy Nation, Ender feels it worth risking an expedition to the Southern Swamps. His maps detail the location of another ancient lab that might contain more tech that could help in their efforts to secure the future of their group. Surely they can make it there and back in time. And yet, as they step into the swamps, Ender can't help but feel a sense of impending doom. He hopes he's making the right decision. Oh boy, poor, poor, uh, it's Bursum, I believe in this case. Can't catch a break. Folk of Shark always, always picking fights with, with our Hivers. And this fellow, he really, yeah, you, you should really turn back, friend. You're, you're beyond the, you're outside the reservation now. Anyway, yes. Welcome back to Kenshi, everyone. We are, as always, gaming by Gaslight. And today, we are joining our friends as they leave Shark. And as I shuffle in my chair for no particular reason, because apparently I'm not in a comfortable position. Always things I should probably take care of before we start recording, but I never do, because reasons. Anyway, yeah. So, we have a... Yeah, one day and 14 hours until the Holy Nation Assault shows up. I don't think... We will be quite so lucky this time. We've got our walls. We've got our gates. We might be able to, I don't know, like keep them out by repairing the gates repeatedly and having our the Black Watch shoot at them repeatedly. But oh, sweet baby Jeebus. I hate, I hate, I hate blood spiders. They attack from 10 million miles away. They do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, uh, I guess we just murder bone those things right away. Hello. Friendo. Oh, you came to the wrong place, friend. Darn swamp ninjas. And as for the rest of you, let's uh, wait until we can see the whites of their eyes, and then we'll come on in and slash them up. I'm not too concerned with uh, looting and bountying these people at this point. Not right now. Never example of where that hold command. For me personally, I find the whole hold thing, it kind of, it's definitely useful. But because I'm lazy and don't want to turn it on and off, I, you know, I'm not able to take as much advantage of it. Also, just as, while we're here looking at factions, is there a way to see what factions are, en or are enemies with other factions? And my reasoning for that is, uh... It, from what I have read about the the disguise system, the Holy Nation, if we all dressed up as Holy Nation soldiers, they would instantly recognize us. But if we were dressed up as Swamp Ninjas, would that disguise work? I'm not entirely sure. Let's uh, get all nice and patched up. Also, did I see someone do 105 damage? That's crazy. Oh, now who's coming after us? Just, just some more Swamp Ninjas. Oh, this guy's got a, a bow, so he was probably shooting at us, wasn't he? Hobbs and Parg. Yeah, you you both have a not terrible amount of uh, bolts on you. But, having said that, maybe we'll have... Where the heck is Hobbs? Yeah, get on over here, you silly man. And we'll grab an extra one of these. I mean, it's tempting. So if we disguised ourselves as ninjas, then perhaps we could wander into the Holy Nation, assuming the Holy Nation wouldn't attack ninjas on sight. But they are criminals, so yeah. 
something to figure out, I guess, but also not something to worry ourselves with too terribly much. Not yet, anyway. But, yeah, last episode I was talking about how maybe we'd go to this rune and then on the way down keep going. But I think maybe what we'll do instead is go to this rune, head back to Shark, sell the loot, and then go back in time to stop the the inevitable raid. And I guess we should also speed things up, because hello. Who are you, fine fellow people? Red Sabres. For those that enter the swamp, don't leave the swamp. Well, um... Are you guys... Okay, you are, in fact, going to pick a fight with us. What are you doing? Uh, we're attacking you, friend. I thought that much would be obvious. But, you know, some people, they don't learn. I'm also kind of wondering, is there anywhere where we could find tougher foes? Because we're kind of at a point where it feels a little bit like the uh, these garden variety enemies here are perhaps a little too easy for us except when they attack in numbers which does happen from time to time I'm kind of tempted to get a mod or something that'll increase the size of these things I'm pretty sure there's an option on game start set squad sizes and stuff like that but I don't know if you can change that mid like mid game and by don't know I mean I've looked at import because uh, you can reset certain settings when you import a save. And I haven't seen anything with uh, more squad or maybe just making enemies stronger. Because I'm all for an additional challenge. Hello. 119 damage. 120 damage. What the hell are we about to get ourselves into over here? hundred. Oh my god. What is this? I, I can't even see what's happening down there. I just know that it's probably not good. Okay, maybe it's just a swamp raptor and nothing to worry about. Time will tell. Okay, also everyone is here. It's an infested lab. That's definitely a... Oh, but it is dead, apparently. That is good. Guardless Katana, Damaged Book. Is it going to turn out there's not actually going to be anything exciting here? I'm going to say, what the heck am I looking at? And it's just, uh... These guys doing stuff. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Go into the lab. Hey, maybe we'll have time to go visiting somewhere after all. Since if, uh... If this place is... Empty... As it might be. Perhaps. Let's uh, have everyone wander inside. Yeah, it's empty. There's a blue guardless katana here. Okay, what what is blue? I think that's a Mark X weapon? Or grade? Yeah, model Mark 1. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, let's see here. Not a whole lot of exciting loot. There are a couple of floors, so I don't know if there's anything on them. Yeah. Not much here. Let's go upstairs, if we can. I'll just have Rain, the giant, take a look at all this. So far, nothing. Alright, so... Well, that's kind of a disappointing start. I'm glad I didn't kind of make this a, like, a focus of the episode or anything. Very, very disappointing. I mean, there's some stuff here, but, yeah. Actually, you know what? I should give that guardless katana to Patty as a secondary weapon, since I do have him using this big old horse chopper. And it's always good for our heavy weapon users to have... A small weapon, uh, in just in case one of their arms gets busted, or if, um... How long have I had all this sitting here? Apparently I did not completely empty us 
of resources the last time we were here. Okay, well. There's a market down here. You know, let's, uh, let's, let's go for it. Why not? Why not, I say? We've got, we've still got a day, so we'll kind of see how things play out. But for now, let's wander off. All right, so we're still technically in the swamps, but we're kind of entering into a more open area. There's, actually, I was going to say maybe there's something here, but it looks like it's just a big old hunk of metal. But we are kind of entering into a more open area. A little empty, but it's not bad. Life is definitely not anything we have to worry about right now. Which is always good. Yeah, and we're getting into some nice uh, reddish mountains. Hello, there is a group of some sort that apparently is immediately hostile to us. Who are they? Oh, it's the Band of Bones. We know them. Which is actually interesting, because Tora used to lead the Band of Bones. I wonder how she feels about... Um, possibly having to fight her former comrades. I also wonder how she feels about the fact that She's been with us all this time, and I have not actually given her any real equipment. Probably not great. Warning, raid mo- holy balls. What? What is this? Wait, is this the raid right here? Uh, yeah, band of bones. Okilly dokily. Well, as it happens, we're moving towards one of these, uh... Groups, so we can actually head the whoa, 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 hold on, friends. We can actually hold the raid off uh, before they even get to us, perhaps, or at least part of the raid off. Kind of see how this plays out. Hmm. All right. I mean, Ender's not the sort of person who likes to make his people do like just random tests of loyalty but he does feel a certain sense of trepidation as after all Tora used to lead these people she used to be responsible for their safety and their livelihoods will she be able to fight against them to turn on the very people who once relied on her to give them purpose and meaning in their lives Ender wonders it, what his own people would do if the tables were turned in such a situation. Would they turn on him? Who's to say? But what is clear here is that the Band of Bones failed miserably at their job. Alright, so we've got two things happening at once. One, the Band of Bones is approaching the Sovereign Gate of Blackstone, and two, we've made it to Market. Don't really know what Market is, or who owns it. I suppose we'll find out in a second here. But at the- oh. Buy all slaves. Runt slaves, lame slaves, bugmen too. Easy, big guy. Save your revenge for another day. Oh. Oh. This is a slave town. Ender immediately feels a sense of outrage. These are people, men and women. Human, Shek, Hiver. What have they done to deserve this? 
what makes a man deserving of being treated like an animal. Nothing as far as Ender is concerned. And it takes a great deal, a very great deal of self-control not to go out immediately and cut these people down. There'll be a time the slaves will get what's coming, or the slavers, rather, will get what's coming to them. For now, though, perhaps it's better if we didn't stay. Place makes my skin crawl. Uh, who is specifically saying that? Hamut. I understand entirely. Are you the guy with the stuff? No. No, we are not. Though, I have been told that the drug trade is quite lucrative in this part of the world. Heard Tinfist been cooking up a storm in the main camp these last few weeks. Tinfist, you say? Who or what is a Tinfist other than someone that I recall? Let's see here. This is 75 nutrients versus 50. Ah, we really need to be able to grow green fruit. Seems like it would be considerably more efficient than... Well, I guess it would be about, what, 25% give or take more efficient? Oh yeah, skeleton bar sign. Should totally, totally buy that so we could put it on our own place. Yeah, ten. F there we are, 50,000. But now that Ender's getting the impression that these guys, these are slavers, are they? Or at least he's a drifter. What is Tin Fist up to? If he's an enemy of the slavers, though, then he's definitely a friend of ours. Hmm. Yeah. You know what, though? Ender's got a feeling. We can't just leave these people here. We have to do something to help these slaves. Also, I should probably take a quick look to see if the Band of Bones has arrived yet. They're inching their way towards us. But yes, let us... We shall slip out of town. Then we'll send our master... Our masters of stealth and espionage here to perhaps, uh... I mean, God, there's so many of these guys. I don't know if we could actually... Garrett's slave. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure... If, um... If what I am planning is going to work. But I'm thinking to myself, what if we released these slaves? So let's go into sneaking mode. And we'll have Hobbs, Park, and Bursilm, our resident ninja warriors, come on in here. God, there's a lot of slaves. Or slavers. I don't know if we can knock them out long enough, but I'm thinking we take out the guards. Where we can. Maybe stuff them in cages. And then we release the slaves, or, alternatively, we could just uh, sneak on over here and let the slaves out and hope that the slaves... Um... Hobbs, why are you not joining us? But before we get on that, let's... Uh... Okay, here they come. Welcome to the Outland Settlers, the Dominion of the Godless. Alright, well... Let's start shooting. I'm not going to give him a moment here. Okay, Dominion of the Godless. I, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, was that just like a one-shot kill? No. But that would have been pretty sweet. Though the way I've got these walls, they're not really... Gr okay, we are shooting at them. Okay, everyone is making their way over here. Come on. Gotta repair those walls. Gotta keep the walls up. I don't know if we'll be able to keep them... But, if... Yeah, if we've got these guys basically shooting the band of bones down... Oh! Oh god, who's attacking? What is attacking us? Oh god! Everyone, unsneak! Beat them down, every last one of them. Oh, it's a, some red sabers. 
Well, you asked for it. I don't, I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with these guys. Okay, yeah, it looks like all of us combined are holding the wall off. Band of bones are just getting picked off one by one, but what I need to do, I think, is... Like, we've got the right idea for this wall. There's kind of like a corridor here, but we need to kind of like jut the walls out a little bit. So that there's a better angle of fire here. We seem to be able to hit them from here, but, you know, at the, the same time... Um, yeah, there's really only so much we can do. Yeah, no mercy. Okay, and you guys are... You are all hidden. Uh, who is our best knocker outer person? That would be Parg. So, the idea here is, of course, we just boop these guys on the head. Her schlunk. And how long has, does he stay out? Okay, so about... Oh god, are we... Did they get through the walls? Bouncer somehow sl phased through the wall. I don't know how that happened, but... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's fix that. And everyone, please come back inside. Okay. And close the gate, please. Oh god, we let them in. We let them in! Quick, close the door before it's too late. I, I'm reasonably confident that we've got the numbers to take these guys out. And also, you know, their hunger is, uh... Yeah. But bloody hell. You know what? I, I shouldn't, uh... Wait, what are, which one are you... Ah, there's the war leader. So if we get everyone to focus on taking this guy out, we might... There we go. He's been booped. Alright, uh... Yeah, someone uh, quickly loot this fellow. Take off their armor, just in case. Yeah, actually, you know what? We did pretty well for ourselves. I am... Satisfied. I think I'll have to get hacks uh, equipped with some more stuff, but... We're mostly okay. These guys are... I think it's safe to say they're done for. Uh, Gertie, could you get out of the way? I wanna be able to... Okay, this guy is unconscious. Let's, uh... Take off their weapons. Take their, uh, stuff here. Uh, trade with hacks, because she is our first aid person. There we go. So yeah, we got we got bashed a little bit, but we're mostly okay. All right. Uh Hobbs, did you uh boop this guy? He has been booped. Harg him. And Bursil meanwhile, let us uh work on unlocking these shackles. Oh, and Par, get over here and boop this guy before we get caught. Okay, he's been, uh, he's been booped. Okay, I, f I, I am having some doubts that this is gonna work out. Funk. Can we, uh, funk him? We must work for the hive, for the masters. Oh dear. And yeah, there's a lot of guys here, and they're all going to start waking up, and this is going to lead to some... Some not good times. Okay, can we, uh... Can we break free? Can we save anyone? Also, meanwhile, how is it looking up here? There's still some guys up here. I think we're okay, though. Surely... Surely they're gonna give up. Soon. Maybe. Possibly. Could happen. Okay. We have a successful, uh... Successful situation over here. I might actually just have Par keep going around, uh, knocking out these, uh... These guards. Oh, Hobbs isn't skilled enough. Okay, can we, uh... 
Okay, you have a 0% chance. Okay, can we... Oh, oh, we got this guy out! In that case, I'm just gonna pick you up. Because surely no one will notice. We managed to save a slave! Damn, we're great. Alright. They might notice that we're carrying a slave off, but then again, maybe they won't. Uh, and who is this? Yeah, let's uh, give this guy the old uh, a boop on the old noggin here. He's been funked. There we go. All right, here, here we are. This is this is what we do. I mean, I guess we could always just straight up uh, attack them, but hey, why do that when we can do this, right? Okay, Bursilm is uh, slinking away. Okay, regular bolts. How much damage do these things do? This is one times. This is one time. Uh, let's see. 33 to 49, 2.8 seconds. 23 to 39, 1.1 to 3 seconds. Alright, so it's a bit slower. More damage. Hmm. I mean, this is also a terrible quality weapon, so that could also have something to do with it. Alright, but so far so good. Okay. No, I won't disobey. But you're free! You're free! You don't have to stay here. Oh god, you've been spotted. Seize! Oh god. Uh, oh crap. Okay, Hobbs. Okay, you have- you've managed to escape. That's good. Probably pissed off the, uh, <laughs> slave faction now. And again, he doesn't- Oh, I can talk to Plant. Hello, Plant. Get me out of get me out of here. I will do my best. I mean, there, I guess at the end of the day, there's only so much we can do for people who might not want to actually be saved. But hey, oh no, don't taunt. Just uh, go back into sneaky stealthy mode. We can do this. We can free the people. Possibly, might happen. Oh god. Are you trying to raise the alarm? I hope not. Okay, the cage is open. What we're trying to do, man. Oh god, the alarm's been raised. The Black Watch is under attack? What's happening here? Oh, this guy got up. Okay. I mean, Gertie might be able to take that by herself, but then again, should we risk it? Probably not. Okay, Hobbs is under attack. Alarm has been raised. I don't know uh, if <laughs> if we can save one more person. Th this Hiver is... Uh, oh, this is a 90% unlock chance. Okay, come on. Get him out. Get him out of here. Quick. Funk. And... Can we, uh, give him the old funk? There we go. And... Oh yeah, did Bursilm get out? I assume he did. Okay. Bursilm, or friend, you are free. You should probably run, dog. This is, uh, not going quite as well as I would have liked. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get in here. Attack. Maybe I should have just chucked him in, in, uh, you know, some kind of cage. But, uh, you know, sometimes that's just how life is. And Hobbs is getting attacked? Nope. Nope. We're all good so far. Nicely done. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. Come on. We don't have time for this.
Aha! We're alive! Good work. Looks like they're gone now. It'll be safe to split. Nice knowing you, friend. Don't- don't run that way, you idiot! <laughs> That's back into harm's way. Oh god, they're starting to wake up. Okay, Hobbs, uh... Can we, uh, funk these guys on the head? Nope, we've been spotted. Okay, Hobbs, run. Run, Hobbs. It's up to Parg now. I mean, technically, I guess this worked out. Good, you just... Yes, I know I need to open the cage. I will totally get on that. I promise. Okay, everyone who is not Parg... Or... No, yeah, everyone who is not Parg, let's, uh, let's make a run for it over here. And if we need to smack... Oh, God. Oh. Hello. Wonk. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on, it's a 90% chance you can totally pull this off. Okay, we did it. Quick, pick him up. And bash this guy in the head before it's too late. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep Parg out of uh, the line of fire. Until his committing crime thing goes away. Then we can, uh... Then we can get away. Of course, then again, constantly, yeah, funking people on the head. Probably not the best way of going about, uh, solving that. Then again, these guys are idiots, so... Okay, maybe I should just get out of here. Go while the going is good, right? Actually, you know what? We're gonna get caught. So let's uh, let's sit here. I can't loot plant. I mean, we only need to wait. Oh god, what's happening over here? Okay, there is a fight with someone. We're fighting inside a tree. That's cool. Cool story. Yeah, this slave monger. He does not know what trouble he is getting into. Let's also take a quick look at the factions. The slave mongers, starving bandits. Uh, Slave traders, they don't really seem to care. So, you know, that's cool. Alright, and since as far as I can tell, no one cares what we're doing, let's just make a run for it and get the heck out of here. Parg, bearing a weeping slave over his shoulders, slips out of the slave market as the sun peeks over the horizon. It is a small, insignificant action in the grand scheme of things, but it is a start. At least one life has been liberated today, and a legion can take some small satisfaction in that. When the holy nation has been dealt with, Ender decides then and there that they will need to return to this place and finish what they started here today. So long as he leads the Black Legion, no man or woman who keeps slaves will ever know peace. <laughs>